Here in the Department of Counselor Education, we do um, offer a practicum to our students. It's one of the required courses in their clinical sequence. Um, here at Adams State, we have every student start off with what's called a pre-practicum. Um, and that's a course that's designed to teach them basic counseling skills, to talk about the importance of a counseling relationship. And so students have to pass that um, usually within the first, or first one or two semesters in the program. And then after that, they're ready for practicum. And practicum is a KCREP required course course um, for our students. And this is a really unique course because practicum is placed right between pre-practicum and then internship one. Internship one is usually taken in their final year. And so for our students in practicum, they are um, taking this course as a way of really getting their feet wet within the counseling profession. Um, some of our students, um, so some of your supervisees may have worked in the field for many years and have a lot of experience coming into practicum. Others have never met with a client face-to-face -face before or have worked with a student um, in a classroom guidance setting. And so some students are going to come in with a lot of experience and some will come in pretty much newbies. Um, so I usually describe practicum as a way of getting their feet wet, a way of getting um, used to being um, in the counseling environment. And so because of this, different students have different needs. And so as a su supervisor working with a practicum student, it's gonna be really important for you to sit down with them and to get an idea of what their goals are for the experience. In terms of our um, perspective, we need them to have um, 100 hours at a site. Um, and out of those 100 hours, they need to have 40 hours of direct contact with clients or students. Um, and that would be either in a individual um, or a co-counseling type of environment. Um, they could also get that done with doing intakes or doing classroom guidance lessons, anything that would count as direct hours. Um, and we understand that you might not want students to work with clients immediately. You might want to get a chance to um, get an idea of their skills, and we understand that. However, it's going to be important for them to get that experience so that way they can um, take that information, take that experience, take that feedback from you, take that feedback from us as well, and then incorporate that in into um, their internship experience. Internship, internship, again, is really them walking in the shoes of a clinical mental health counselor or a school counselor. So again, practicum is really this unique situation where um, depending on what kind of experience they have um, and what they need from you, um, is, is you're gonna have to develop those uh, specific goals. Some of our other requirements for practicum is that they need to have weekly supervision with you and that they need to have a midterm and a final evaluation done. Uh, we will be having contact with the practicum students throughout the semester as well, providing them our feedback, um, reviewing some of their recorded sessions that they're required to attend to, to um, complete, as well as uh, review with you, as well as the site supervisor. And so between the site supervisor and then the, in, the faculty supervisor, um, we're gonna have a lot of um, contact with the student in terms of supporting them, meeting um, them where they are individually. Um, and so that's really practicum in a nutshell. Again, um, the, the main importance is for them to get that experience, to get their feet wet, to work on those basic foundational skills that they learned in pre-practicum, um, and then to also to start to develop some more advanced skills and to experience what it's like to have a counseling relationship with a client and a student. Thanks.